Hey guys, I'm Emily and I'm one of the Banish Warriors and today I wanted to give you my five top tips for surviving Accutane. I've recently finished, I think it was about two months ago that I stopped my course of four months of Accutane and I think it's good to know some things to expect while you are taking the medication. First up, we're gonna go with it's going to get worse before it gets better. Oh my, it got so much worse before it started to clear up. My face completely erupted and I've got quite a lot of scarring actually from that. As you can see, yep, lots of scarring. And a lot of these scars, especially here, are from the initial purge or whatever you want to call it, initial breakout, initial purge. Yes, I, I was warned previously that it was gonna get worse. But yes, it really did, so be prepared. Number two is hydration. Make sure that you are drinking loads and loads and loads of water. I think every day I drink about five liters of water at least. Um, I normally drink about three, two to three liters anyway, but I really needed that five liters. So constantly keep a bottle of water with you, keep it at hand, make sure that you're hydrating yourself because the tablets really do dry out your whole body, not only your skin, but everything. So make sure that you're replacing that water and that you are getting enough of it. Another thing as well, I think I made sure that I'd take a glass of water to bed so that I could drink it first thing in the morning because I was really dehydrated after sleeping at night. Just keep that in check as well. Another thing that I would say is moisturise your whole body. So obviously moisturise your face because that's going to get dry. Moisturise your legs, moisturise your arms, just everything because I really suffered with quite bad eczema while I was taking medication and I knew that it was because it had dried out my whole skin so not just my face but it was just all over my body and I remember I even put moisturizer on my head because my scalp was so dry and that really helped so get a really good moisturizer and use it on your whole body because it, you'll thank yourself for doing that. I didn't keep it up enough and I really wish that I had and I've actually got quite a lot of scars. I've got quite a lot of patches on my skin still and especially on my legs there's quite a lot of scarring which is fine I'm just gonna embrace it but it's very itchy and very uncomfortable. Number four is take some omega-3 supplements. This kind of goes hand in hand with the hydration and the moisturizing because omega-3 helps protect your skin um, but for me, it was mainly for the joint pain. So towards the middle of my course, I started to feel very, very stiff. And that is a known side effect of the medication. Taking omega-3 tablets, making sure you're getting a lot of healthy fats in your diet is really good to just help maintain that lubrication in your joints. It's very, very important because everything, so even the fluid in your joints is drying up and that's why you can get some pain in your joints and your muscles. I was very stiff, so turning from side to side, I felt like a bit of a robot. So it's definitely a good idea to take some, some omega-3 supplements or just any sort of, you know, fish oils, whatever. Number five is take good care of yourself and rest when you need to. Going on Accutane was a massive learning curve for me because I'm busy and like to be busy and like to push my body and like to keep active and fit. So I felt very sort of lazy if I stopped doing that. But Accutane is such a harsh drug and it's such a strong drug. It really takes quite a long time for your body to deal with it and recover and process it. So you are going to feel tired and you're gonna feel fatigued. Um, so just rest when you need to. If you need to have a day on the sofa, take a day on the sofa. I know it's not always possible with work, but really, really go easy on yourself and just be really kind to yourself while you're taking the medication because I think that that's really important just to sort of take the time for yourself, talk to others if you need to, if you are feeling tired and a bit low, just take a step back, talk to someone that's supportive um, and you'll be able to get through it. It's, for me, all of the like symptoms that I had were very manageable. Dry skin, dry lips, dehydration, achy joints and fatigue were my top five symptoms. So just kind of, you know, everyone has a different 
experience on Accutane, but for me, it was totally, totally worth it. Another little skin update just to show you. I haven't had any actives. I have like a little cyst, a lump, which you can probably see underneath here. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of scarring and kind of like hyperpigmentation. But to be honest, I'm just really, really happy with it. Banish vitamin C cream, elixir and the banish oil have been amazing. I use them throughout my time on Accutane um, and now I've just started adding in the pumpkin enzyme mask, the charcoal clay mask and I'm gonna wait a little bit longer to use the banisher and things because it's recommended that you kind of wait five to six months after Accutane. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Just a quick little five tips to help you get through Accutane and yeah, just do all your research before and stay strong and you'll get through it. So thanks.